Hello and welcome back to No Rubbish Travel. In this video we are going to Peniche, a hidden gem on the silver coast of Portugal. We will talk about all the places to go within and near Peniche, things you can do around and the hidden spots that you should never miss. So let's dive in. Best way to arrive at Pidish is by road. You can either come here from Lisbon, which is a one hour drive, or from Porto, which takes around two and a half hour. Both the cities offer bus routes as well, and they are quite inexpensive. I could not find any direct and convenient train route. I came to Pidish via Porto. The distance of this journey was around 270 km and on the route the toll tax was of 21 euros in total. For accommodation in Peniche, there are not many hotels but you can still find a lot of BNB options. I chose this BNB at Praia de Gamboa, which is the closest beach to Peniche town. If you stay here, you are at a walking distance from the beach the town and the Peniche port. The beaches in Peniche cater for everyone. The sand is soft, the water is crystal clear. Peniche is also known for the surfing beaches, especially the Super Tubos beach. People from all around the world come here for surfing. If you are not into surfing and prefer a calming time at the beach, the northern beaches of Peniche can offer that. After a relaxing day at the beach, you can watch the sun setting from one of the amazing viewpoints at the coast. This one is called Cabo Carveiro. The next morning we will go to Peniche Fort. This is a 16th century fort built mostly for military purposes to fend off the pirate invasion. It offers good views of the Atlantic Ocean. Make sure you walk all the way up to the fort to see the Atlantic Ocean from a different vantage point. There is a National Museum too within the fort's premise. You can visit that as well. Overall, the fort and the museum should not take more than one hour of your time. After visiting the fort, we'll walk for 50 meters down to the port of Peniche. From here, we'll take a ferry ride to the Berlingas Island. You can buy the tickets here at the port, but I would advise to book the tickets in advance. You can use Get Your Guide or Viator or any of those apps to book the ticket. 
while this is a 40 minutes ride but make sure that you don't have a very heavy lunch before this because the ride is pretty bumpy as you can imagine Vinish is known for the big waves try to sit on the right side of the boat so you can enjoy the views of Vinish town and the colorful silver coast The Berlekas Islands are a cluster of islands which is located 10 to 15 km from the coast of Finnish. The largest one of these is Berlinga Grange, which is accompanied by several smaller islets and rocks. Known for their natural beauty and ecological significance, the Berlingas Islands have been designated as a UNESCO Biosphere Reserve. As soon as you arrive at the island, you will notice that the water here is crystal clear. You will have 3 to 4 hours to spend at the island by yourself. There are 4 things you can do here. The first is to take a dip in the water. Enjoy some time at the beach. Second, you can take a cave tour around the Berlingas Island which is on a smaller boat. Third, you can hike all the way to Saint Jean Castle. And fourth, you can have a meal. There are two restaurants on this island. I would advise to do all four of these. And believe me, four hours is enough to do all of that. During the cave tour, you will be accompanied by a guide who will speak both in English and Portuguese. They will tell you about the caves and the history of this place, so I will not ruin that for you now. But make sure that you sit on the edge of the boat and observe water down below, especially when you are inside the cave. The water illuminates you to the reflection of light and you may also see some sea light down there. It is mesmerizing. The tour operator will give you two options to get off from the boat. You can either get down at the Saint Jean boat or you can go all the way back to the starting point. I would advise getting off at the boat because you will save half of your time as you don't have to hike to the boat, you just need to hike from the boat back to the starting point. At the boat, make sure to check out the view out of these windows. It is really beautiful. There is a restaurant at the fort, also an hotel, which allows people to stay during summer months. The restaurant can offer you some drinks and some light snacks. From the fort, you can start walking up towards the lighthouse at the top of the island. The hike up is steep but short and throughout this you will 
have great views of Saint Jean Baptista Port and the Crystal Clear Water on your right. At the top, you will see a beautiful lighthouse, some seagulls nesting, and many, many lizards along the way. Just be careful that you don't step on one. After the hike, have a relaxing evening at the beach. Take a dip in the clear water and call it a day. Next morning, we will drive 5 kilometers from Peniche to Baliel Island. There is this one narrow road which connects the mainland to Baliel Island and it is very interesting as you see there are beaches at either side of the road. This road acts as a bridge between the island and the mainland. Baliel Island is like a tiny resort town. It is mostly known for excellent surfing conditions and very interesting rock formations. My reason for coming here was these amazing rock formations. They are very unique. You can just park your car at one of the many free parkings in the town and pretty much hike all the viewpoints within a couple of hours. There are also these information pads which will give you some information about the island and the geography. With this we come to the end of this itinerary and the end of my trip to Pinish. I hope you found this itinerary helpful and it will help you plan your trip in and around Finish. Please subscribe to this channel to find more such no rubbish, no drama travel itineraries. Meanwhile, enjoy this amazing landscape of Bali and see you next time.